Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to use a crossbow in Witcher 3. So if you're a bit confused on it, you can't get a crossbow until there's a little quest about level 5, I think. And you get a crossbow from Vesemir when you're hunting something. I won't spoil it for you if you're not at that point. But if you're not at that point, don't worry. You will get a crossbow as you go through the main story of the game. So just follow the main story, you'll get there. Okay, so once you get the crossbow, it needs to be equipped uh, if you've accidentally unequipped it. Um, what you can do is hit the menu button on your Xbox controller or whatever brings up the menu on your platform that you're playing. Go to your inventory with a left stick and then A to open. And then under, whoops, under weapons, there's my crossbow. So the crossbow then goes into the inventory when I hit A on it. And you can see I've also got these bolts here. Now these are standard bolts that you get and you have an unlimited number of these. Occasionally you can come across other bolts that you can buy. So I found these on a drop, a split bolt. However, you can see they've got a big X on them at the minute because they require a level 14 to be able to use them. And I am only level nine, which you can see at the top right. So I can just keep these uh, for a little while. They do have a little bit of weight down the bottom left, but it is tiny, so it doesn't really matter. I can just keep them in my inventory. And then if I wanted to use those, I could then hit A and swap them over on the bolts, and then I could use those instead of the unlimited bolts that we've got here. Now, the crossbow, is it a decent weapon or not? Not really. You can see it does four to six piercing damage compared to my sword, which does 80 to 98 damage. This one, 104 to 128. However, a ranged weapon can be useful in certain circumstances. Underwater is about the only thing that you've got in your arsenal that can kill things. So if we go underwater and use the crossbow, you will kill things instantly with it. Um, it seems to be a bit of a bizarre thing, but that's just how it works. Uh, and when you're running around in the game, if you want to use it, you can do so. Sometimes it can be good to distract an enemy, um, but if you put better bolts on it, then obviously the damage increases. The other thing to point out is that you can get better crossbows as you go through the game, but generally they are pretty, pretty minor attacking tools. But I'll show you how it works anyway. So once it's equipped, if you hold down your, uh, what is it? Hang on, let me think. Left button. Um, you will come to this screen here, and you should see the crossbow there in the screen. And by having it selected here, you should be able to use it. So if I hit A to select it, you can you should now see down the bottom right. Can you see it? It was added to my inventory there. If I just could do this again and hit A on the torch, that's now in my sort of little system. Um, but we want the crossbow, so I'm using the left stick while I'm holding down LB to hover over it like this, and then A to select it. So that's what I've got. So when I now use that hot slot, which on the Xbox is RB, up comes my crossbow. Now, with the crossbow, if you just literally press RB, Geralt will fire out a crossbow very fast. Fire a crossbow, a bolt from the crossbow very fast, which is often not what you want to do. Um, what you do want to do is hold down RB and then take your time with the shot and then release when you're ready. So we can see there's some deer up there. Let me see if I can take one of those out so you can see he moves very slowly with the crossbow so um, and once i've loaded it if i let go of rb away it goes um with the the firing there i don't think we got the deer there's one there oh i missed again rubbish let me see if we can find a, a beastie to do battle against and then you'll see this better in action let's see if there's anything underwater so i can show you that while we're here find anything this would be typical that I can't find anything <laughs> as we're doing this game there's normally drowners along here which is what I'm looking for just to show you how how these crossbows work um, another interesting thing is over time you can power up the abilities with crossbows with certain things which I'll show you again in just a minute in the skills menu I think there's some skills that will slow down time a little bit when you're using your crossbow um, just to help you aim a little bit easier how can I not? Aha, there we go. Right, so there's a bandit. So, crossbow. <laughs> I missed him, he moved. So you can see it's quite hard to to get this in action before hit, but obviously it gives you a ranged attack. So there we go, we got it. But you can see these guys attack me very fast uh, when, I was, when I was using it. But you can see the amount of damage I can do there compared to the crossbow, which is pretty minor, but does have the advantage that I'm doing by range, but you can see they'll quickly close me down while I'm using the crossbow, uh, which makes it quite useless against these sort of people in battle. Um, so I was talking about the skills. So if we come back to this menu with the menu button, if you go into your, ooh, I think it's character, let's jump into character, yes. Um, there's an area in combat 
here, which is marksmanship. So this is your core abilities. And you can see this, uh, uh, if you apply your points down this, it's gonna help your crossbow ability. So this one, time slow by an additional 15% while aiming the crossbow. So the more I add into here, the more time will slow down. Um, there's some other things here. Each bolt that hits its target adds 0 0.04 adrenaline points. Pfft, neither here nor there. Uh, increases crossbow critical hit chance by 5%. Uh, and lastly, crippling shot. Critical hits dealt with a crossbow display, disable monster abilities for five seconds. Now this is obviously requiring a big investment of points. These ones unlock as you add more, more points. Can you see you need to have at least eight here, uh, at least 20 here, and you see the locks on the right um, before these things will unlock for you to actually do them. So you kind of, kind of got to build these up over time if you're interested in those. Uh, there might be, whoops, hang on, sorry. Let me, I just want to check some of the, natural abilities to see whether there's something there i think it's avoiding crossbows ah there you go you can shoot an additional bolt before you must reload with this option this one crossbow bolts deal 25 percent more damage um i think that's it for crossbows just double check that looks like it yeah so yeah that's basically how it works uh, how you equip it and stuff like that. If that was useful to you, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. Even if it's a simple thanks for that, that helped me out. That's great because it helps other people find it. it. Only takes you a second. It's really appreciated by me. Thank you so much if you've got the time to do that. If you're interested in The Witcher 3, have a little look at the rest of my channel. I'll put some playlists at the end. I've got loads of tutorials on The Witcher 3, a walkthrough as I'm playing the game again in 2022. Um, so that might be of interest as well to see how I play. I've played the game many times, completed it many times as well. But it's such a fun game to play. It's a pleasure to play again. Um, if you like what you see, I publish dozens of videos on our weekly basis. So if you'd like to be kept up to date with my latest videos, uh, tutorials, we'll cover Witcher 3 and other games as well. Uh, hit that subscribe button and you'll be kept up to date. Thanks so much for your